Kinky singles try and find love. Let's see how kinky they are. What's the kinkiest thing you've ever done? I'm very. Oh, good. she has the earlobes thing. Isn't that a thing that you put like with keychains and stuff? What do you have going on in your ears? This is not kinky. You're just extra. You're just doing too much. Into the kink community, so. Okay. Tying people up, clamps, peeing on people. Would you ever be into someone peeing on you? Welcome to. She's like, hmm? You wanna catch this piss, right? Look at her. She's like, you gonna you gonna catch this piss? I know you are. Okay, get ready to gobble. Welcome to the button, a speed dating show. When the button lights Guys, up red, is, I already know this is gonna go weird. This is gonna go bad. Swap out their date for a new person. Get I'm here. apologizing if in advance. Two people can last on a date for ten minutes. They win an all expenses paid second date. This is the, the button. button. Hi. Name's Gabriel. I'm Lonnie. You got some broad shoulders. Fun fact about Gabriel, sometimes he farts during sex. Okay, that was, that's, that's a gross misrepresentation. <laughs> you fart during sex? Not regularly. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, you know, you just, you go in too hard and, you know, a little toot comes out. It happens to the best of us. I mean, it's, I mean, I, I hope he's not sitting there, you know, booty up, you know, her mouth in buns and you know he starts tooting like i hope that's or his mouth in buns you know i i never know for all i know he probably fucking with elephants the time that i lost my virginity uh -huh. i was very i was terribly nervous okay and i just farted out of nervousness and you know she laughed at me how did that even end it was yeah it was just very much over at that point i mean oh. there's really no coming back from that what I mean, I'm not one to half-ass a fart, bro. Like, if I'm gonna embarrass myself right there, I'm gonna go all the way and just shit on you. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, there's no point in half-assing. I'm gonna just let it all out. You know what I'm saying? That's just, it is what it is. We, we, now, now we both, now we both in a terrible predicament. <laughs> Laugh at me now. <laughs> what are you two looking for in a relationship right now? I mean, I, I was, like, monogamous for a long time, and now I'm not. I'm just kind of enjoying being single and dating around, to be honest with you. What about you? Um, I, I'm gonna answer, but I, I, I can't do the dating around. Uh, yeah, I know, I know you saw her push that button real slow. A nigga like me, huh, gotcha. <laughs> Gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, 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 why you let her do that? How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. And we what didn't even hear her box? answer. I can get pretty hot-headed. Okay. Um, when I'm mad, I don't want to talk. I feel like that's more mature that's fair. than trying to like be heated in the yeah. moment. For me, probably that I make everything into a joke. She's very pale. Like, honestly, I remember I was having sexual intercourse with Casper's cousin, right? Dasper. And she has the same skin tone as Dasper. And this is insane. Like I do stand up. What's your best joke right now? It better be funny. I have a joke about uh, how collecting lovers is like collecting rocks. Like you can never have too many. If you bring a certain number back through your apartment, like your leasing agent gonna start looking at you kind of funny. Like, damn, this bitch got a lot of rocks. <laughs> that wasn't funny. <laughs> that, that wasn't funny. I didn't laugh, Dasper. Like, bro, why is Dasper acting like this, man? Someone get her, man. <laughs> Why is the button laughing? Okay. I'm sorry. Can I ask why? You're not my type. What's your type? The cure women. No hard feelings. <laughs> I got a plywood board body. Nice to meet you. I'm Leilani. Leilani, I'm Sid. What kind of music are you Oh, doing? this is her type of woman. Yeah. That's, she's definitely thicker. Kind of look like a bird, but you know, kind of look like, uh, what's the bird from Rio? Yeah. They might be relatives. Everything except for screamo. I'm more of like into like dark wave, kind of like. What's dark wave? So it's like sexy dungeon. Never come to me and describe your music type as dungeon. How is dungeon a music description? What does that mean? Or are we talking sex dungeons where you're getting hung up by 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 strings on the ceiling and you have people play the make make their way. Oh man, bro. Dungeon? Like club music. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> How do you two handle pain? Piercings and tattoos don't hurt for me. I have my nipples. My nipples didn't even hurt. 
It hurt after. It hurt after, after, yeah. I just recently got one of my nipple rings ripped out, and that hurt. <laughs> so you have no nipple? No, I have a nipple. It oh, just okay. like kind of has like a little split in the oh. side. Of it. Oh. I just got caught on the door and it just ripped it. Right oh. Out. Anyway. Are you too bad? He got he got caught in the door. Got ripped off, and she was like, "Oh fuck." <laughs> oh my god, mm, again. <laughs> I am, but I don't think it's going any further. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Elani. Tattoo says queen, huh? I am a queen. I'm also yeah. divorced. Interesting. <laughs> oh, mm. Look like you're a former queen, if you ask me. <laughs> Retired queen. <laughs> you're not no queen no more. <laughs> What's the kinkiest thing you've ever done? Probably be like tied up with rope or like handcuffs. I'm very into the kink community, so. Okay. Yeah. Tying people up, clamps, peeing on people. I think one of the kinkiest things I've ever done is like, I pretend I was in a coffin, right? So we put a coffin, we don't, we didn't do six feet underground. We just did like, like, like a foot and a half right underground. But there was like a little part where I could like, I could put my dingling, so it was like a glory hole, but in a coffin. So it's like it's like you're trying to you're struggling to breathe while also getting pleasure and like the excitement between the two. Yeah, that's um that that's me right there. Elizabeth, would you ever be into someone peeing on you? Huh? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> it was a special occasion. <laughs> I really like this tattoo you have. Can you tell me about that? Is it? Oh, I didn't uh, realize it went red. Because you won't get peed on. I want you to handle this piss, girl. You should know. You should know. I'm a piss deliverer. So when I say you're going to get peed on, when I say I like peeing on people, you're going to get peed on. <sighs> okay. <sighs> I think you're just a little too shy for me. You'd be surprised once you get to know me. You shouldn't have said no to pee. Yeah. You should have said no to pee. You'd be very surprised. Yeah, but again, I don't care. I don't care how you are when you're acting like, you'd be very surprised. Like, nigga, I'm going to be surprised when you stab me? No, that's what I'm expecting. What do you like to do? I'm really into baking, oh. um, which is hilarious because I don't actually like sweets that much. No, I feel the same way because sometimes I like try to pawn it off to my roommates. So, so do you, you still? Me love too, it? but that's with fishing. Like I don't really like fish like that, but I like to go fishing. It's then. I still live with roommates. Are you looking forward to having a place of your own? Um, I probably will stick with having roommates. You I, like roommates? I go a little crazy if I'm alone. But. <laughs> She's just, uh, I'm not going to lie. Everyone getting X'd by this is insane. Them, they, her, I don't know. I don't know. I just know this is ridiculous how y'all all getting played by, like, they, she literally has, like, someone dying and being possessed on her arm. You see this? Their soul is getting sucked up from their eyes, and they're all getting X'd by it. I'd be, I would feel disrespected. I don't want to live with anybody. I don't like roommates. Me either. Okay. I feel like such a bitch, like truly. Hi, I'm Reno. Hi, Reno. Fun fact about Reno, they like to step on their partners. Oh yeah, that's fun. You seem like also... They like to step on their partners. Oh yeah. My nigga, what is going on with your hair? Why do you have... Like, why is your fashion, why is your fashion, um, pet smart? I don't get it. Yeah, that's fine. You my, my man crawled into the iguana section of a pet smart and stole of his, some, some of his leaves. I don't, I don't understand. Like, also a kinky person? Is that a correct <laughs> read? I am. That is a big part of my life, but, like, I'm also interested in other things. What are you passionate about? I've kind of always wanted to be, like, a smoky jazz lounge singer. <laughs> Ooh. Can we hear you sing a little? Can we not? Do me a Sunday with shadows I spend it all. My heart and I have decided to end it all. Talking about end it all, can you be happy? I don't sense happiness from your aura. I don't sense happiness from your body. Can you be more happy? Can we talk about rainbows and sun sh sunshine? Talking about some end it all. You know. 
Dang. <laughs> that was pretty fucking good. Raven, are you attracted to Sid? Button, I don't know. Attraction's okay. hard. <laughs> it's okay. What was this voice switch up? Button, I don't know. Attraction, uh, what was... I want to be your friend. Oh, really bad. <laughs> You're so fucking- Hit the button. Okay. <laughs> come here, come here. This is literally the worst. Guys, you're like really fucking cool. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Do you smoke weed a lot? No, okay. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like I'll do edibles. <laughs> I hope yeah, he, you He's a pothead. You too. Yeah. Hi. He has a, a unruly addiction. What? Do you like EDM? This is so important to me. I'm EDM? Sorry. Like yeah. music? Yeah. I think it's fun to dance to. Okay, yeah. I hate it. Okay, <laughs> I hate okay. It so much. I mean, it's yeah. not my favorite type of music, but I can dance to it. You're not one of those people that only listens to EDM? No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay. I don't know what EDM is. I dare you. To I listen to Pokemon hands, music. Look at each other. Don't say a word for 20 seconds. As someone who's autistic, eye contact is hard for me, but. Didn't ask. <laughs> Chad, did y'all ask? Chat, did y'all ask? Did anyone ask? Cause last time I checked, we did not ask. Okay, if you need to look away. No, no, okay. I'm, I'm open. Come on, chat, let's hold hands, hands for 20 hold. seconds. Okay. Oh, you have nice hands. Clock is starting. I can't talk. Y'all have really nice hands. I, I really like y'all eyes. You're looking beautiful today. Uh, <laughs> oh, I smell that bread that smells like uh, Takis. Uh, you dirty bitch. Oh, we're not supposed to be talking right now, huh? Good. Very vulnerable, but nice. Very vulnerable. <laughs> I know. I am not a person with autism, but like I have dated a lot of people with autism, okay. so it's really. So is that like your preference? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like when I go to my, I look at my body count of autistic kids. Um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty long line, so don't worry, you can get a shot. <laughs> Oh my, oh my God. Comforting to hear that actually. Yeah. Why shouldn't someone- Why are you, to? what? Uh, I'm That's like, <laughs> imagine someone's like, you know, I don't, I, I do like black people. Like I have a long list of dating black people. I'm not black, but dating someone who is black is comforting. What are you talking about? Too honest, it's really hard when like, Somebody's like, do you like these shoes? And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think that somebody looking to date me should be aware of like my past and like yeah. what I've gone through. I mean, I have been in recovery for like multiple reasons and I'm, I'm doing really well now. I was dealing with a pretty severe eating disorder um, that I was in recovery for about six months. And there are um, some other issues too that I've been dealing um, with. Just drugs and not being nice to myself. My nigga, we've known each other for five minutes. Why, why are you trauma dumping on me? Now I feel guilty. Now if I hit this button, I'm an asshole. Why did he just trauma dump? <laughs> you don't do that on a first date. I don't know. See, she she looked at the button, but she's like, I can't do it now. Being nice to myself. Look at her. Looking at that button, like, damn, I can't press it. Damn. I don't know, it can be a lot for someone to handle. I, I mean, congratulations. First of all, I was never diagnosed with an eating disorder, but definitely have experienced some disordered eating. So that's not something that is like scary to me. Okay, yeah. that's really good to hear. Describe the energy you both are feeling right now. I mean, I'm kind of nervous, but I feel like I'm able to be open with you yeah. and that you won't be too freaked out by anything that I'm about to say. What about you? Okay. I'm shaky. Yeah, I'm me shaky too. Me too. Fuck, yeah. Literally. Did you see this? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know how we just ignore the red flag. Yes, I just date. I have a list of autistic people I date. Yeah. It, it, your autism comforts me. Why are we ignoring that? Is that normal or people comfort? Like, I've never, I've never heard of someone say, yeah, autism's comforting. Like, that's just. I have one more time. If you don't press me, I'm going to consider it a match. There she goes. <laughs> Turn off, bitch. Well damn. Woo! Yeah. Why is she looking at me like that, bro? You already scared me in this video. Move.